minute time frame. If you're not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I offer an explanation video at that link. Did this analysis on Wednesday, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. But unfortunately, today the Bears took another big bite out of this thing. So I'm just going to go do some house cleaning, get rid of that line up there. Sure, that level pertains. It's just not relevant right now. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't want to risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines all over the place. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. The first update, though, that doesn't even made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below. They tend to act as resistance. So if there is any sort of bigger movement to the upside, 270 is more so that overarching level of resistance, but definitely much more of a near-term level of resistance that was established mid-afternoon is right here at $2.20. And nothing fancy or complicated by, by this. You know, the price did actually show some signs of upward strength, but then you can see it ultimately got rejected right there before rolling back down. So yeah, $2.70 is definitely a very important level of resistance. My point is that really before you start putting really any amount of focus on that level at all. The price first needs to prove itself in the near term. And again, quote unquote, prove itself being defined as getting up above and staying above that $2.20 mark. As far as levels of support are concerned, absolutely nothing fancy behind this at all, other than the fact of the bleeding finally stopped down there at $1.90. So for that reason, and that reason alone is going to be where the, the key level of support is at uh, down around, like I said, that $1.90 mark. But all in all, very rough day, very rough second day back trading after that big halt that occurred. But still one day left this week, so we'll see if the price can try to get things turned around or not. But like I said, any sort of turnaround, again, is really going to revolve around whether or not the price can get up above $2.20. So let's see what happens with it on Friday.